Section three is, is the section dedicated to the water sample collection. Um, so to collect a water sample, you're gonna use a device called a camera bottle, which is also here in the crate. You'll take the camera bottle out, take hold of one stopper in one hand, um, holding the outside of it if you can, and pulling in the other direction with the other stopper, um, open it until you hear a click. Good, exactly like that. Then you're gonna hold the, the rope that holds it in place, and then you're gonna lower it down over the side of the boat. Um, and we're gonna lower it to a depth of 1.5 meters. For all of the sea slap lakes, we collect a surface sample at a depth of 1.5 meters. Okay. Your camera bottle line should be marked in one meter increments um, in either black or in blue. This one is marked in blue. And when you get to a meter and a half, you should see a double blue mark and a red mark. And you're gonna lower it so to the point where the red mark is sitting directly on the lake surface. The red mark is on the surface? Yep, the red mark should be right on the surface. That'll be a depth of a meter and a half or five feet. Then you're gonna take the messenger and you're gonna drop it down and it should trip the camera bottle. Do I have to like push it? Nope, you should just be able to gravity drop it. Okay. You'll may notice for some of the older camera bottles, you might need to give a little tug just as the, the messenger hits it to help trigger that. Then you're gonna slowly bring it back up, holding the line and then grab the gray shaft to prevent the water from spilling out of the camera bottle. Then you're gonna take that camera bottle and you're going to uh, empty it into the collapsible container. So the collapsible container is the plastic cube that's gonna be used to hold the sample. And I can open that for you. It has a cap on the top and you're gonna take the bottle and you're gonna put a little bit of water into it by depressing the valve, rinse it out. Um, sometimes we can put the cap back on it to give it a complete rinse. Good. And you'll take the cap off. Yep, just one rinse is fine. And then you'll empty that back out into the lake. Okay. And then you'll take the rest of the water from the camera bottle, depress that valve again, and put the water into the collapsible container. Um, some CSUP volunteers have a newer camera bottle that has a turn valve, um, which is a little easier to operate. You'll want to fill it all the way to the top to make sure that you have enough water to fill all of the sample bottles for the on in the in laboratory procedures that we'll go through uh, with a separate video. Okay, once you've filled the collapsible container, then you're going to record the water temperature and the air temperature. And we recommend that you do the air temperature first because the thermometer should already be, uh, have been sitting out in the air and therefore uh, be measuring the correct air temperature right now. So the thermometer um, uh, will either be loose or in the white box um, in which it was delivered to you. So you'll start by recording the air temperature. Okay, and then you'll immerse the thermometer into the collapsible container. And I just leave it in there? Yep, and you'll just leave it in there for a minute or two until the temperature stabilizes. And while you're waiting for the temperature to stabilize, you'll fill out the rest of the section three of the sampling record. So the first question asks for the time and military hours. Um, so fortunately we're in the morning here, so we'll place that uh, information here and check the box for AM or PM, which should be obvious for military time, but just to be safe, we'll fill that out. Uh, then you'll record the water sample depth, which again was at 1.5 meters. Your surface sample will always be at 1.5 meters. Um, and then you'll record the water temperature once you know that. You'll also notice lines for deep sample depth and deep sample water temperatures. Uh, this lake is only three meters deep, so we're not gonna collect a deep sample. The bottom waters are almost identical to the surface waters, but in some sea slap lakes, you're also gonna be collecting deep samples. When you collect a deep sample, you're gonna use the exact same procedure that you use for collecting the surface sample and collect a water sample, place it into a second collapsible container and run through the same procedures. The sample depth for a deep sample is between one and two meters off the lake bottom. So we've recorded the lake bottom already, um, and you'll just subtract from that um, between one and two meters to get to the nearest single meter measurement uh, and collect that sample. So as an example, if you were in a lake that is 10.2 meters deep, um, you would collect your deep sample at a depth of nine meters. And you'll record that information on the water sample depth line and the water temperature line. Um, so at this point, the water temperature is probably stabilized. Uh, and if you can tell me what the reading is, I'll record that now. 19. 
Okay, so we'll record 19 degrees C. So again, we're not collecting a deep sample here, so we don't need to record that information.